what's up team so that's this to get amy welcome back to my channel welcome to gig of my canal so today we're going to do another get ready with me i'm going to do like a brown eyeshadow makeup look i'm going to play with this palette it has been a while since i played with this palette so we are going to play with this palette today so first what i'm going to do i'm going to take my i've already done my eyebrow use my makeup revolution brow kit so now i'm going to take my nyx uh eyeshadow primer i'm gonna use this to prime my eyes the look that i'm going for it's a very simple look very very simple so let's just jump into this tutorial if you guys hear noise in the background please excuse that it's holiday the kids are home um that, that's the world the reason why i haven't really got time to make videos because the kids are home it's a little bit noisy so i'm going to take first i'm going to start with this shade here i'm going to use that as a transition shade i'm going to get some fluffy brush i have so many brushes lying down in front of me I'm gonna take the shade here first. I'm just gonna put it right. Ooh, that's it's a little bit warmer. It looks so cool, but it's very, very warm. I'm just first gonna do like a dabby motion. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and i'm just gonna blend it smoothly just make sure i blend everything very smoothly take a little bit more and then blend this is like a brown but this brown has like a really warm undertone So now that we've done that, very good. I'm going to take another fluffy brush. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take this shade here. I'm going to put it right there. I'm just gonna blend it very smoothly trying to make like a really nice i don't know this brush doesn't really blend the way i want to i'm gonna take another brush yeah i'm just gonna blend it very smoothly I'm going to take that first brush I use. I'm just going to blend it up to get rid of any harsh lines. Make sure everything is smooth. And then now I'm going to take this dark shade here. I'm going to put it on my eyelid. Just gonna bring it upwards a little bit, and then now I'm just gonna try to blend everything together. Make sure everything blends out really nice. I wanna darken this part a little bit. I'm just gonna. Blend. So now I'm just going to take a brush that doesn't have any products. I'm going to take this um, brush and I'm just going to try to 
blends everything together. Make sure I get rid of that harsh line. Okay, that's pretty. Now we have to jump into a voice over just because my beautiful angels decided to make some noise in the house. So let's just do a voice over. So as you guys can see, the eyeshadow is very, very natural. I really love that brown makeup look. I'm really loving it. So today I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution um, Shimmery Eyeshadow. And it's been a while since I played with this eyeshadow. So today I decided to play with it. I really, really love this eyeshadow. If you guys have been following me for a very long time now, you guys know that i used to love this eyeshadow i used to play with this eyeshadow um so much but it has been a while since i played with it so today i wanted to come in and try it again um, i'm not going for any eyeliner i'm actually loving the no eyeliner makeup look but if you want you can actually um do a highlighter but i am not i'm just gonna put this shimmery eyeshadow on top of it make it look very very beautiful very very nice and yeah i really love the way it looking to be honest i really love that shimmery on top of that brown you can definitely still see the brown um but i just love the shimmery on top and it looks really really nice so after i'm just done with that i'm just going to take a brush i'm just going to like blend it to give it like a smooth transition so that it doesn't look like oh the shimmery shadow is here and the orange is here so we're just gonna blend it very smoothly i'm just gonna wipe that excess fall out of the eyeshadows just gonna wipe everything off and after we've done with that it's time to prime i'm going to take my maybelline primer i'm gonna use the primer face you guys know before ever i prime my face i've already used my spf some protective cream and then I also go in with the Makeup Revolution Oil Control Setting Spray. Just because I do have an oily combination skin. Uh, my skin do get oilier a little bit. But now that we are in the winter. Um, the the winter my skin get a little bit dry. My skin is like a, oil, a little bit combination oil and dry. Certain parts are a little bit oily. Certain parts are dry so but in the winter time um my skin gets a little bit drier but i try to moisturize my skin as much i've been trying this new face moisturizer that a youtuber who is um into skincare and all of that she recommend this elf health elf cosmetic um um moisturizer with the one with the hemp seed in it hemp oil in it and i've been trying it and i really really love it um, I really do love it. So yeah, well, I didn't use any foundation. I'm just using the Makeup Revolution um, concealer in C15. And now I'm going to use the Maybelline Fix Me um, concealer also in 55. I'm going to use that to highlight. I really love this concealer. It's not like, it's not that really bright it's not that dark it's just perfect and i love this found this uh, using the concealer as a foundation the makeup revolution concealer as a foundation i really like it it just matched my skin perfectly and i really love it and i'm just gonna blend this concealer as a highlighter it's gonna make it look super super nice um these days makeup i just go i just do makeup that works with my skin that goes with my skin the makeup that i looks i looks more beautiful on me i don't really try a lot a lot of different trick sometimes i do depend on what which season we are in the winter season i mo i over moisturize my face in the winter because it's dry um it's dry so i prime my face more i use more product on my face because i don't want uh, my skin to get even drier so now I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution setting powder. This is in dark medium or dark honey. I can't remember. But I've used this powder a lot. But I'm going to use this one to set my face. I really love this setting powder. This um, setting powder is really nice. It's not super, super bright. It's just perfect for me. I really, really love it. I'm just going to use it to set everywhere where I put the concealer. Uh, especially underneath my eyes. Um, not too much, but I really want to sit underneath my eyes because around that part and my nose get a little bit oilier 
and the rest of my face get drier in the winter season so that's the reason why i'm putting a little bit more powder so now i'm gonna do underneath my eyes oh my god i feel i'm always crying when i'm touching underneath my eyes so i'm just gonna do that very very quickly just blend that very quickly and now i'm going to set my face with my favorite favorite setting powder makeup revelation this is my best go-to favorite setting powder for in the summer and it's still working for me good in the winter i do have some other setting powder so if i need to change it i will because in the winter i get a little bit lighter so i will not be surprised if i can't use this powder this winter maybe next summer i will use it but i do have some black opal setting powder as well but i really love this one it's my favorite and i'm also going to use it to control my nose um i really love the way it leaves when you control my nose and i'm also going to use this um morphe bronzer you guys know this is my favorite i love this bronzer um, I really, really love it. I've been using it a lot. I love the way it looks on my face. I love the warmness it brings on my face. I just love the overall results. So yeah, this is my favorite. It is my favorite. I don't know. I haven't really used a any other bronzer except this. And I'm going to use this um, sleek shimmer bronzer. I'm going to use this to yeah, do just shimmer. Normally, normally I like to use my sun kiss but today i'm going to use this one and i'm going to take this nyx also one i'm going to use this to control my nose a little bit just because this one is a little bit lighter than the setting powder i'm just going to use this to control i don't really i really do not like when people see that mac that i have um contour on my nose i don't really like it so i like to use a setting powder or a powder that is a little bit lighter so that you don't see that like you don't see me from a distance, you know that I'm, I've controlled my face. I just like my face to look a little bit okay. So now I'm going to take blush. You guys know I don't really like using blush. So you barely see this blush on my skin. But I'm going to take this W7 um, blush. I'm just going to apply this on my face. I like to bring it to where I bronze a little bit upward on my cheek. I just love it. So now I'm going to do my lip. As we're going for a chocolate makeup look. I'm going to use my favorite brand lipstick this is the nabla cosmetic um lipstick this is in coco this is my favorite brand lipstick i love this lip lipstick it's very very beautiful um it's very nice it lasts all day long when i rub it like this it depends if i don't eat like like other food but if it's just normal day just drinking water eating snacks now and then not not anything heavy that will mess up my lipstick um this will stay for the whole day it's very very beautiful i really really like it it's one of my favorite it's one of my favorite i i did pick up two of it so i do i do have a backup i'm always you know always need backup 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 <laughs> so i did have two i did pick up two which i am um, saving in case this won't run out I really really love it it's very very beautiful i just love it i just love the way it makes my lips look my lips is uh it's a bit fuller so with this one it's just excellent so now i'm going to take my fenty beauty um highlighter i really love this highlighter this highlighter is like a skin finish highlighter it's very very beautiful i love the way it looks on my skin so guys um yeah this is the finished result i'm just gonna take the brush highlights the cheekbone it's very very beautiful if you guys like this video please do not forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to follow me on my instagram my facebook like page all the links will be down in the description box so i'm ready for a date night uh, if you guys want to see outfits follow me on my instagram i post a picture of my outfit i'm wearing i'll definitely show you guys what i'm wearing as well but i do have on instagram pictures of what i'm wearing i love this makeup look it's very simple it's very bold you know that brown chocolate a brown lipstick on a brown skin girl is just the best thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys on my next video this is the finished results 
hope you all like this video if you guys do please do not forget to like comment subscribe and share don't forget to follow me on my instagram my facebook like page all the links will be down in the description box so i'm just wearing this brown dress i picked this up from aliexpress a while ago you know i'm just going for that chocolate makeup look so i hope you all like this video if you guys do thumbs up so i know you guys like makeup like this team fullest thank you guys so much for your love and support and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out bye